Hi everyone, Shaky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today, thanks to my friend John, I'm going to be doing another American taste test. So let's get started. Now, I've also got this, which is some catnip, which John sent me. And I'm on it. Oh, jeez, you have no idea. I just caught Pringles with my legs. It was slipping down and I grabbed it with my legs. I have an array of useless talents. <laughs> So I have this catnip which I'm going to try out my cats with and I'll leave some footage at the end of this video. You want to stay for that footage because that's just going to be super adorable. I'm hoping that they're going to look as cute as this. Pressure's on. First up I'm going to try these limited edition Pringles and this flavour here is sp spicy. Spicy guacamole. I never understand this saying on the Pringles. You just don't eat them. Well that's all I do with mine. Spicy guacamole and you got yourself some guacamole guitars there. Are they greenish looking? They are actually green looking, wow. So they have a slight green tinge to them. Now usually if you see a chip with a green tinge, you wouldn't eat it. They smell nice and spicy. Oh, yum, oh spicy. Wow, hot. Mmm. Yeah, oh wow, it burns down my throat. These are beautiful, spicy, torturous chips, yum! Mmm! Pringles has really managed to put the flavour of spicy guacamole in here. These ones are a big yes for me, really delicious. Next up, I'm going to do something strange and I'm going to make this. It's an instant meal thing. I'm not really a fan of instant meals. This one is made by Hormel. Beef tips with mashed potato. Now, I've never heard of beef tips as a cut of meat before. I don't really understand that. I'm just eating the tips of the meat. 19 grams of protein, tender beef tips with mashed potato and brown gravy. I do like gravy though. Gravy, yes, big fan of. It says here it only takes a minute in the microwave. Now I, I just can't believe that. So will this be any good? Oh, I don't know. Take it out of its cover. I can't see it yet, but I know it's lurking in there. Peel back this. I can't peel it back though. Maybe do it from this side. No, neither side. <gasps> Put it in the microwave for a minute. My microwave's dirty, don't look at it. I just can't believe it's only gonna take a minute. Do you like it? Do you like it when you see other parts of my house, like the kitchen? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna get a fork. You just entertain yourself there for a moment. Only a couple of seconds to go. Stay away from the microwave, watch your head every... Oh, it's really exploding in there. Oh, caution. Tray and contents might be hot. <laughs> Do they really have to write things like that? I guess they do. Let Trey stand for a minute if desired. I desire it. Right, be careful, it's gonna be hot, hot, hot. My microwave smells like beef tips now. Let's get into my beef and mashed potatoes. Oh, goodness me. <sighs> oh, that smells like something from my past. Just peeling the lid off completely. You're not gonna to get to see this bit, but you're just gonna to have to trust me that it happened. Oh, wow, geez, you don't know. Oh, I'm gonna tilt the camera down so you can have a better look at it. Look at it, swimming in a puddle of gravy. I really don't know if I'm gonna like this one. Oh, oh, gotta make sure I get some beef tips with my potato. <sighs> smells like what my mum used to cook. Go, 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 go. Um, it's not, mm, it, it, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but I'm not enjoying it. I like the gravy. The potato does sort of taste like an instant potato though. It's not really creamy. I feel that somehow glue has been added to this. <laughs> you could live on it. It would definitely keep you alive. Oh no, 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 no. I'm not a huge meat eater, so perhaps this is why I'm not enjoying this as much as I should. I just don't understand how meat can sit on a shelf for ages and then you're eating it suddenly. Meat to me is something that usually comes from out of the fridge. It is edible and it is something that you could take and go and not have to worry about refrigeration, which is one good thing. I don't mind the gravy. I quite like the flavor of that, which is actually making this a lot better. In general though, I, I don't think I would get it again. Oh, far out. That was an experience for me, wasn't it? Oh, la la la. Can you see my bra? 
Oh, I just realised that my top is slightly see-through. Well, there's nothing. You can't see anything. Oreo Thins Pistachio. And I'm looking forward to this one. I've never had these thin Oreos before. I've seen some in the cheapy shops here. Not in the proper supermarkets, but in the cheapy one where you think, are they actually real Oreos and who's made these and what's actually in them? I overthink things a lot. Let's have a look at them. Oh, how much thinner are they than the regular Oreos? Oh, about half the size. Look at how beautiful this is. I really like Oreos. You can see that little bit of green pistachio cream inside there too. Mmm. Oh, they're nice. Mmm. Yeah, they've got that beautiful nutty pistachio flavored cream in the middle there. And it works nicely with the dark chocolate cookies. Oh, you see, and you think you've finished it and then... Pistachio taste sort of comes on in. I don't know why I'm having trouble saying pistachio today, but I am. Suddenly I'll get a word and I can't say it at all. I've been saying it all my life and then suddenly I can't say it. I like the concept of the thins, but I'm also thinking how many of these can I have? How many is acceptable to have in one sitting? I'm thinking a lot. That's not a number. I'm just going to dissect one for you so you can look at how beautiful and great. Oh no, there's one already broken up in here. Why didn't I get that one first? You can see the color of the cream in this one here. It's actually really nice flavor. Oreo, I would definitely have these again. Yum. But the thing is with Oreos, I find that I chomp them up and they go straight to the back of my teeth and then I go out and talk to many people. They get to see mushed up Oreos in my teeth. All right, I'm classy. Love them. You know what's gonna go nice with my Oreos? A coffee. And today I've got it back to front. Cafe Bustillo. So this is an instant coffee and I've never seen this brand before. Cafe Bustillo Parquetes in, in Spanish. Disfruta el sabor rico y completo que se maintienen como ningún otra incluso. See, my Spanish is getting better, isn't it? Just went downstairs to get my cup and my kettle and the whole room smells like beef. There's six coffee sachets in here. Ta -da! I feel like if that didn't have music, it wouldn't have been as exciting. It's just freeze dried coffee. There's no point in showing this to you. Stir it around a bit in there because I've got some milk in there. Smells good. Hello. Do you want to look at a cup of coffee? I don't want you to miss out on anything in life. There you go. Is that exciting? It's a nice rich maroon color. Cheers. Good. When I do have instant coffee, I usually have just Nescafe, not that I have instant coffee that much. This one, in comparison to it, is pretty good. It is quite a nice dark rich coffee roast. Mmm, yum, muy bien. That's really quite nice. Mmm. Let's see if this does anything for them. You see, look. Okay, no, you're not going out. You're going to play. Buffy's hiding under the table because there was thunder before. What do you think? Now, am I supposed to just put this all Looks the floor? Looks interested. Look at that. So, Hissy's coming back inside now. We'll try her on the catnip. Have a whiff. Are you really happy? Oops. Oh. Now she's just going to go to sleep. You're supposed to get really playful. Never work with animals or kids. Oh, hello. <laughs> See, I don't think she likes the video camera, so that's not really helping. Okay, it's kicking in for Hissy. It's a yes from Hissy. It's a mildly interested from Buffy. Buffy seems quite happy and more relaxed now, which is good because she hates thunderstorms. Hello. Someone's alert. Show everyone what a good shot you are. I think it's pretty safe to say it's working for Hissy. Oh no. <laughs> That is not YouTube appropriate, hissy.
Thank you so much, John, for sending me all of these amazing treats. And if everyone in the comments below could thank John, because without him, this taste test would not be possible. If you want to support me and my channel, please remember to share this video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe for more. Have a fantastic week, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.